Hi everyone and welcome to the latest community conversation from the Anticipation Hub. Uh, today we're talking about um, women and anticipatory action. So without further ado, I'll hand over to Nesa Satyadi, who's going to host the conversation for us today. Thank you very much, Tim. Yes, uh, hello everybody. If you could just for the first part of the session, but uh, if you want, you can open your camera, but uh, of course we have the recording. So if you don't want, you can just uh, leave it off. That's fine. But uh, yes, we warmly welcome you. Um, you don't hear anything. Um, is there any problem with uh, other people? Can you hear me? Yes, okay. So probably um, you can check your um, your audio setting so that um, you can hear everything. Yes, uh, again, uh, welcome everybody. I'm Nisa Stiadi from Aktion Deutschland Hilft or Germany's Relief Coalition. So we are uh, working more on um, humanitarian action. So with um, more than 20 member organizations and we are so glad that we are here today to have exchange with you, with our colleagues also from one of our member organizations from CARE Germany and also with its network CARE International in Bangladesh, uh, the other colleagues. Um, welcome also to our colleagues, Katrin, Casey, uh, Amy, um, Atika, and also Selina. <laughs> yes, uh, and uh, today, as Tim mentioned, we are going about one very important um, group in anticipatory action, which is the women. So we are going to talk with the women also here, women uh, conducting a project in Bangladesh, or also women from the community, and we are going to see different perspectives, uh, what are the challenges, uh, what are the approaches, and uh, what are the measures uh, we conduct um, when thinking about anticipatory action, also in the context of Bangladesh, um, in the project uh, of SUFAL, it's a flood forecast-based action in the northeast uh, turn part of Bangladesh. So, um, we are going to um, go, uh, bring you through several topics or um, Katrin, Katrin van der Den from CARE uh, Germany. She's going to uh, introduce you to a framework um, that like a gender framework, the more overarching uh, concept conducted uh, through different kind of projects and also can be used for humanitarian as well as development work. And we are going to talk also with Amy and Atika, who is uh, coordinating the project. So um, Amy is a SUFAL consortium a coordinator uh, of CARE International in Bangladesh. Atika, Atika Khan is uh, working more on advocacy policy and communication uh, for CARE International also in Bangladesh. And we have also uh, um, Selina Begum, she's a voice message and uh, cash grant support recipient. She's more, um, uh, she's one representative of the women group from the community. So where the uh, project, the SOFAL project was taking place. So it's in Ulipur Kurigram uh, district. So we are glad to have our colleagues with you and um, before we start, uh, we would like to, at least we cannot have, I see here now we have 25 people in the room and probably also a little bit more. Um, but then at least we would like to know from where you are joining us today. So I would like to ask you to go to Mentimeter. I will send the link in the chat. Let me see where I can find the link. Oh, I hope you all can go to Mentimeter. And I can share my screen uh, in a short moment. So just uh, to, to know, because you know, um, we, I and Katrin are, are based in Germany. So we are sitting in Bonn in Cologne and Amy Atika are sitting in Dhaka in Bangladesh, Selina is uh, sitting in the district, um, Kurigram district. So if you can just put a pin on your location right now so that we can see, let me check.
Okay, yeah, we have uh, quite a spread location. That's good because I was thinking probably most of the people are coming from or are located right now in Germany, but that's very good if we have also people from different parts. It's good also some from Asia and so down from New Zealand. All right, that's good. That's really good. So I would like uh, to go further. So we have also some of us or many of us are from Germany, but then we have also from New Zealand, we are from uh, different parts of Asia. That's really good. And um, let's go to the second one. Stefan, uh, second question. I would like to just uh, so that we have a first impression. Um, what would be your association with when talking about challenges faced by women in anticipatory action? So you don't need to think over too much, but uh, just spontaneous idea, which word comes into your mind? What kind of the challenges do you think faced by women in anticipatory action? Just put there um, one or two words. I hope you come also. Yes, we saw some. Inequality, imbalance, gender-based violence. You can have more. We'll wait probably one minute. Inclusivity, that's good, yeah. Gender-based violence, lack of resources, human rights, lack of power. Do we have uh, more words come coming into our mind? All right, yes. Insecurity, we have uh, some, some aspect, inequality, imbalance, insecurity, gender-based violence, uh, lack of resources, human rights, lack of voice, a uh, lack of power, voice, this is a very good word, inclusivity. So yes, we are going to, we, surely we wouldn't talk about uh, each and every aspect in detail uh, in this, within this session, but, uh, a lot of aspects that you mentioned here will be also discussed from our colleague. So I will stop uh, my uh, uh, screen uh, sharing and um, let's go now to, to the content. And I will uh, give over to Katrin to start with her presentation. So Katrin, over to you. Okay, thanks a lot, Nesa. Could you please share a slide? Yes, um, and also uh, just a hint for you. So you can, anytime you have questions or comments, all of you just welcome to write down in the chat and I will uh, try, to, uh, try to keep an eye on the chat and um, post the questions in uh, right time, probably in between or later on after the presentation. So yes, now I will share my screen. Okay, thanks a lot. So good morning, good afternoon, everybody. So actually, uh, as we could also see from the Mentimeter, we saw a lot of terms like inequality um, and um, uh, not, um, not having access and in power balance. And these are actually um, social norms in Bangladesh, uh, which do not allow for an active role in the public sphere and decision making of women and this is actually a reason why the needs of women are often not considered in plans and policies. In order to overcome this um, and advance gender equality, CARE applies uh, the gender equality framework in its work. So we think that for achieving lasting change 
in power and choices of women, we need to have changes on three different levels. So the first one is the individual level. It's uh, we call it building agency through um, self-confidence and knowledge. Um, the second level is the um, relations level where women can use their knowledge and, um, and, gain, and confidence um, to uh, interact with other groups which are like outside their peer group. And this will then in the long term result in a changing mindset of the broader society in a way that awareness on discriminatory norms is increased and these discriminatory norms are rejected. This will be reflected in policy and services. So what does that mean for anticipatory action and our project? So after the 22 flood in Northern Bangladesh, women basically didn't have another choice then responding to the flood because they had been directly affected and many um, of their uh, male family members, they work outside the community and they basically have not been there to respond to the flood. So um, women took this action and actually this action was rewarded by the broader community and the women were seen as being like capable to do something positive for the community and they gained confidence. So this basically encouraged them to become members of women groups and to become disaster preparedness volunteers in the communities um, where they actually disseminate warning messages and record data from the early warning systems. So this is basically the building agency level in our project. So through the interaction in the group, they increased their self-confidence and knowledge and um, participated actively in community risk assessments and vulnerability maps and also became members of formal community group structures, which enabled them actually to articulate their specific needs in terms of early warning and early action. And this, by the end of the day, as reflected in the early action protocols. So more details on how this looks in practice, we will hear later from my colleague Atika and also our um, uh, representative from the community. Um, but for now, we would like to share a, a short video about the project to give them, you an idea um, of our work. Okay, I will uh, share the video in a bit. I hope you can hear also the audio. যখন বন্যা এসে গেছে সেই মুহূর্তে আমরা এখানে মাইকিং মধ্যে তথ্য প্রচার করেছি 
যারা প্রতি প্রতিবাদে যারা আছে যারা বন্যার মধ্যে ডুবে আছে তাদেরকে আমরা মাইক মানে নৌকার নৌকার সাপোর্ট দিয়ে তাদেরকে আমরা উঁচু স্থানে আশ্রয় দিয়েছি বন্যা পানি এসে ডুবে গেছে এবং সাগর বাড়িঘর মানুষজন হয়তো মহিলা ডিলার ছিল তারা ওই কেয়ার থিয়েটার লোকালে এসে উঁচা জায়গায় আমাদের নামা দিয়ে গেছে এই নৌকা দুটোর মাধ্যমে আমরা বন্যা আক্রান্ত মানুষদেরকে আমরা সেফ জায়গায় বন্যা আশ্রয় কেন্দ্র এবং এখানে দুটি প্রতিষ্ঠানও আছে যেটি বন্যা আশ্রয় কেন্দ্র হিসেবে ব্যবহৃত হচ্ছে সেখানে আমরা লোকজন থেকে নিয়ে আসতেছি আমাদের এখানে একটি মাত্র ফ্লাড শেল্টার সেখানে পয়নিষ্কাশন সেখানে স্যানিটেশন এ ধরনের কোনো ব্যবস্থা আমাদের ছিল না সবগুলো ছিল অকেজো কিন্তু এবার আমরা সুফল প্রজেক্টের মাধ্যমে আমরা সেটি রিপেয়ারিংয়ের একটা ফান্ড সেখান থেকে পেয়েছি আমরা যে লোকগুলো ফ্ল্যাট শেল্টারে এ পর্যন্ত আসি এ লোকগুলো আমরা মোটামুটিভাবে ভালোভাবে সেখানে থাকতেছি অন্তত পক্ষে স্বাস্থ্যসম্মতভাবে চতুর সাইডে নদীর ভাঙনের কারণে এই গুচ্ছ গ্রামে অনেক লোকের সমগম হয়ে গেছে এখানে টয়লেট না থাকার কারণে আমাদের পায়খানা করার খুব অসুবিধা হয়ে গেছিল কেয়ার থেকে টয়লেট তো দেওয়ার কারণে এখানকার অনেক লোক উপকৃত হয়েছে এবং আমরা মেয়েরা অনেক উপকার উপকৃত হয়েছি So that uh, was it, uh, the introduction of the project. Before we go on to Amy, I saw that also some people, some new participants are coming and probably it's a good idea. And I saw first, no, there were no questions. I also, um, I would like to ask you also to, to just write down in the chat, firstly introducing or, or just say who you are if you want then we can also get to know each other. That's, uh, that's also a good idea. Thank you, Amy. Um, yeah, we have 30 people in the chat room. Just write down uh, your name and uh, yeah, your probably your organization or where you come from and uh, so that we can know who are in the room. So, all right. Um, yes, if you have questions also, just uh, write down in the chat. I will keep an eye on it and then we'll take up the questions later. So go ahead, Amy, uh, over to you. Thank you so much, Nessa. Um, and thank you, Catherine, for introducing uh, the gender equality framework of the, uh, where you have uh, identified uh, uh, how through uh, our project we have been uh, integrated with this uh, gender equality framework. So um, uh, uh, people who have joined us, um, I guess you are, uh, you have a bit uh, introduction of where Bangladesh is and uh, um, the uh, geographical location of the country. So um, as uh, if you uh, follow the world map, you can see that uh, Bangladesh is um, just uh, surrounded uh, by India and uh, one on one side of the country, there is Myanmar. So, and um, at the uh, Southern part of the country, uh, there is the Bay of Bengal. So, uh, and uh, as uh, Bangladesh is situated in the uh, Ganges, Jamuna, Meghna River Basin, uh, it is one of the most flood prone countries in the world uh, because of the uh, level of water flow uh, in during the monsoon season uh, makes our country very vulnerable uh, to flood. And 86%, uh, sorry, 68% uh, of the country uh, is uh, vulnerable to flood, flooding. 
and uh, 25 to 30 percent of the land gets inundated uh, uh, inundated uh, during the monsoon period so um, uh, we have a, a joint uh, needs, uh, need assessment uh, group uh, for uh, any kind of disaster happens in our country so according to the group's report, um, we have identified that uh, Daibandha, uh, Jamalpur, and Purigram district, uh, those are uh, uh, situated at the north uh, eastern part of the um, country. Uh, those are very much vulnerable to flood. So uh, in, through our project, we are addressing uh, these th uh, three districts. And in this phase, we have included uh, Bogura, which is a bit downstream, um, uh, which is also very vulnerable to flood. So, uh, and all these districts are um, respectively around 49%, uh, 60% uh, uh, and 62% of the union of these districts are uh, affected during the monsoon flood of uh, 2017. So uh, we are focusing, uh, we are uh, working uh, at these vulnerable districts to address um, the monsoon flood. And uh, throughout, uh, through our project, we are um, doing the anticipatory action based on a uh, early action matrix where um, actually um, I have to uh, come a bit uh, from a bit earlier. So uh, what, to address uh, the flood, uh, what uh, in our country, what government does is um, uh, uh, take some preparedness, preparedness activities and uh, mostly they do the response work. So uh, the humanitarian, uh, you might have known the humanitarian response work all over the country, I mean all over the world. So uh, in Bangladesh, the uh, things were like this and uh, the anticipatory action concept uh, like as the whole world in Bangladesh, it is also new concept, and um, uh, we have uh, we are being part of uh, implementing this anticipatory action. And throughout different studies uh, uh, in our project, we have seen that uh, if we uh, take the anticipatory action, uh, uh, we are being able to save life and livelihood at a very um, huge level. I mean, and reduce the burden on the humanitarian response. So um, we have initiated the, this um, anticipatory action through this project, Shufa, and uh, we are now implementing the second phase of the uh, Shufa project, which is um, scaling up uh, flood forecasting and early action um, uh, and learning. So uh, uh, this is uh, how we are working. So we are um, providing, uh, we are collecting uh, the base data of, of the flood level, as uh, uh, um, some of you might have known that uh, the flood um, has flood uh, water level has been measured uh, through river gauges and the inland gauges. So there are some uh, gauges in different um, river uh, uh, basin of our country. So from our project, we have identified where the gaps. So uh, through uh, um, our project, we find out the gaps and we installed two uh, additional uh, river gauges uh, at the upstream and the downstream of, of um, the Bamaputra River uh, Basin uh, to make the forecast system more strong. So uh, as we have, uh, we are now uh, getting the 15 days um, basin uh, forecast uh, from the flood forecasting and early, uh, early action center we are trying to make it a uh, 30 days outlook so that um, before uh, 30 days before flood coming, we can have the preparatory work. And um, uh, through what we are doing as anticipatory action, um, it's uh, more like uh, disseminating the early actions, uh, early warnings um, through different uh, mediums like voice messages and uh, public announcement. And um, through this, uh, also with early warning, uh, we are saying we are not only saying that the flood level is uh, water level is rising, so flood is coming. Not only that, we are also uh, 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 giving people the advisory uh, how to save the uh, what to do uh, with their um, uh, important documents. Uh, you have seen uh, in the video that uh, through the public announcement, we are asking people. Um, to do some actions, what uh, uh, they need to do um, to save their uh, important documents and other um, uh, daily necessities. 
So uh, in addition to that, we also provide the agreement forecast where we provide the advisory regarding what to do with their harvesting, what to do with their fisheries, what to do with their livestock. So uh, we have we also have vaccination campaign uh, in including uh, in in this agromet forecast. So uh, through this early warning, people are taking early actions. We have an early action matrix where uh, we have uh, identified three different uh, level of um, uh, uh, three different danger level where we have identified. Um, you know, uh, we have identified some of the actions uh, discussing with communities what they need to do if the water level is just below the uh, one meter below the danger level and if the water level is at the at and above the danger level and uh, if there is flood i mean it's one meter above the danger level so and if um, uh, there are um, uh, two other sections in the election matrix uh, where uh, you have 75% uh, uh, um, uh, probability of flood being happened and um, not being happened. So if uh, there is uh, not being, uh, uh, not, uh, there is probability of not happening the flood, uh, what actions you will take? And if the probability is above 75%, what action you will take? So this, uh, following this matrix, we are um, uh, taking this uh, early actions. So uh, if I can, um, uh, share some of the um, early actions with you. I mean, um, like um, meeting with disaster management committees, um, preparing the first flood shelters, preparing the road to shelters, um, building the bamboo bridges so that people can cross easily, um, uh, preparing the, I mean, uh, temporary cattle sheds uh, so that um, the livestock are safe and uh, they are uh, not bound to sell the cattle uh, during the flood time, uh, collecting the, um, uh, I mean, necessary medicines, um, uh, keeping uh, the women uh, and uh, vulnerable and the children safe. And uh, at, in the matrix, it has been identified at what level uh, we have to um, evacuate people to the shelter and how this evacuation will happen. Uh, that this has been also identified in the matrix. So uh, this is how we are taking the early actions, but um, you might have, um, a question might come up in your mind, what we are doing uh, regarding the challenges faced by women. So in the um, beginning of, the, of this session in the Mentimeter, we have uh, seen that, um, uh, the power of decision making, uh, inequality, gender based violence, uh, these are uh, frequently uh, coming words in our mind uh, when we uh, start talking about gender inclusion. So, uh, in the first phase of the project, um, uh, as the anticipatory action was a very new concept in our country, uh, we were not considering the gender inclusion uh, that much uh, in our activity. But while uh, responding, I mean, uh, working uh, uh, while well, starting our work uh, during the 2020 monsoon flood, we have found that um, most of the people are not, uh, especially the women, are not willing to come to the flood shelter, uh, though they are suffering due to inundation. So uh, we identified why, what is the cause. And um, we, in that, this phase, we have done uh, the community risk assessment as well which is CRA. So uh, through this, we have identified what are the major challenges women are facing uh, in terms of taking early action and um, coming to the shelter. So we have um, identified that um, uh, there are no separate, separate room uh, for the women member of the community to at the shelter center. Uh, uh, therefore, the lactating mothers, the pregnant women, they are not feeling comfortable uh, to go to the shelters and reside with the um, uh, male member of the community. Also, uh, uh, the municipal hygiene management was a huge challenge there, uh, though we provided the hygiene kit but um, uh, uh, using of um, toilet facilities and the bathing space uh, was common. So uh, it was not possible. For, I mean, they, are, they were not comfortable to use those facilities uh, in front of the male member of the communities. So, and um, of course, uh, uh, regarding the decision-making, 
uh, women were not um, allowed to uh, take decisions of what need, uh, what uh, they need to do regarding the early actions, what is important for them, what is the priority for them. So it was the male member of the community who were uh, deci uh, deciding the actions for the women, um, uh, what need to be uh, taken uh, for um, uh, uh, reducing the loss of life and livelihood at the community level. So this is how uh, we started our work. I hope uh, gradually I'll come again uh, with uh, what we have done uh, within our project to address these challenges. Uh, thank you, uh, Naisa, for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, Amy. I see that there's no question yet from the um, participants. Uh, again, feel free. Oh, okay, that's uh, one question uh, from Tim. Uh, I will just uh, read it. Or do you want to, to pose it directly, Tim? Because we only have one question for now. Hi, yeah, sure, I can ask um, very quickly. Yeah, just um, I just wondered um, if there's been any pushback against um, this gender-focused approach, either from the men or from the women in, in the community. I mean, it all sounds very positive. I just wondered if you've kind of met with any barriers or people saying, no, no, we shouldn't be doing that in Bangladesh. Uh, should I come up with the yes directly yeah. yes uh, or also yeah. other team member later on can can also complement Catherine and I yeah think yeah want. sure sure so uh yeah team uh of course like um as uh, you know uh, in the South Asian country we have a kind of um, uh, uh we are in patriarchal society. Uh, there is nothing to regret. So, uh, of course, um, our societal uh, context is um, kind of um, uh, oppressing uh, for the women uh, in, in the South Asian countries, especially Bangladesh, um, as uh, we are a Muslim majority country. And um, of course, uh, from the traditional practice, um, women were not um, allowed to uh, take uh, the decisions um, within the family, what to do, what, what to do. And um, of course, uh, uh, when it uh, uh, comes regarding the uh, coming out of house uh, or uh, doing any work, uh, it, it was the male member of the family who was supposed to uh, do these things. So, uh, the area we are working in is the northern part of the country, which I mentioned earlier. So most of the male member, uh, uh, male counterpart of the uh, 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 family, uh, they are working outside of their area uh, or um, they have been migrated and the family, the women, they are uh, taking care of the family. Uh, but those uh, who are, and um, regarding the um, disaster management committee at the local level, uh, mostly those are comprised with the uh, male members. So uh, whenever uh, it comes uh, regarding uh, the special need of the women regarding uh, taking early actions and um, the, uh, the, I mean, place of the shelter center or um, repairing the road, uh, if uh, the pregnant women or the, um, uh, well, children, uh, women with the children, they are uh, crossing um, uh, or coming to the shelter center. Uh, this has not been identified by the male member uh, of uh, the disaster management committee. So uh, when uh, we try to uh, include uh, the women uh, to uh, be part of these committees, but unfortunately uh, we have seen that um, still they are lagging, uh, lagging behind in taking decisions because uh, the male are the majority. So in terms of inclusion, we have included uh, maybe uh, four or five women in the committee, but they are not being able to participate in decision-making process because of their uh, lack of, um, I mean, how I can say, lack of representation. So uh, uh, at uh, that point, uh, of course, we uh, tried to uh, take different um, strategy. So we have uh, done the community risk assessment in a way uh, where we had um, conducted the uh, process with different different uh, community groups, uh, and they have identified their own challenges regarding taking early actions and uh, the um, uh, 
level of um, damages uh, they face uh, during the flood. So, and uh, the uh, risk reduction action plan has been developed by themselves. So, whenever uh, in terms of uh, women group, they are taking, they are preparing their risk reduction action plan by their own. And ultimately, this risk reduction action plan has been integrated in the government system uh, at the local government level. So, at the lowest tier of our uh, government uh, governance system is union. So it's uh, integrated uh, this uh, risk reduction action plan. Um, the uh, plans had been identified in this risk reduction action plan has been integrated. In I think we have a technical interruption with uh, Amy's internet connection. So while we are waiting, um, probably also it's, uh, it's if you have a question, just post in the chat and we will follow it up uh, later. Oh, we have Amy already back. Amy, we lost you for some seconds just now. If you could, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I just noticed. I yes. was talking and I wasn't there with you. Yes, yes, you were not there. But uh, if you could just repeat probably last sentences that you mentioned because we lost okay. it for several seconds just now. Okay. So what we are, what we were doing to address this issue is uh, doing this community risk assessment um, exercise with different uh, groups, like the women groups, the people with disabled uh, groups, so that uh, they can identify their own uh, challenges they are facing, and uh, they are developing their own risk reduction action plan with the actions and we have tried to, um, we have uh, done the advocacy to integrate these uh, actions identified by them in the uh, union level um, action, uh, annual, annual action plan. Uh, so uh, uh, as you know, in Bangladesh, um, uh, the lowest tier of the administration is union. So um, they, they develop an, an annual action plan uh, which um, uh, they are implementing uh, through the government budget. So uh, these uh, risk reduction action plan are already integrated in the um, union level uh, annual action plan. Uh, through the, uh, through, uh, this is the way we have tried to um, ensure uh, so th the um, specific needs of women are being addressed or being um, taken into action. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. I think you mentioned also that community and uh, women group. So uh, that's also our next uh, our next speaker. But um, we are going to go back. Uh, we will discuss this again uh, more in detail with you, Amy, and also Atika and Katrin. But not right now, I would like to invite Selina. You've been with us uh, since the beginning, I saw. Uh, you and um, yes, um, she is a representative from this women group and she's going to uh, also um, share with us her experiences. So Selina, could you hear us? Uh, uh, yes, uh, we are going to, uh, Selina is going to speak in Bangla. So if you can bear with me, um, Atika is going to support us with translating uh, back and forth. So it may take some time, but yes. Uh, Atika. Uh, uh, yes, perfect. Uh, we can start. Perfect. Hello, Selina. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I Wa would, yes, um, yes. Um, uh, we would like to um, also, I, I see you also have also our colleagues there. And um, if you could also share with us, um, share with us your experiences, how uh, it was before um, the women group were involved also in overall planning and also um, before 2020, um, especially how the condition was, um, how, what kind of challenges you faced and also how you experienced it in 2020 as the uh, early warning system and also early action um, has been set up and how it looks like now. So yes, this over to you. Thank you. Selina, you can start with your story. My name is Selina Akhtar. I'm a 
গ্রাম দলন উপজেলা ইউনিয়ন বুড়াবুড়ি উপজেলা উলিপুর জেলা কুড়িগ্রাম Okay, her name is Selena Akhtar. He, she is from uh, Kurigram district and the union is Ulipur. Sorry, the union is Buraburi. Uh, about, मुखे मुखे माइक मोबाइल मेसेज पाई समस्या खबर संकट जोड़ कर मेसेज ना पाले तो संकट समस्या जोड़ कर खबर सालान ओषदपति संग्रह सपर उपद्रव कार्बोलिक एसिडनाबंधी वयस्क निरापद आश्रय केंद्र आलदा आलदा जैगा निर्धारण कर उसोल्डस but um the voice message was really helpful as they are getting on time and with that message they were able to prepare themselves so before the 2020 monsoon as they had uh they got the delayed message on the early warning system so they couldn't able to uh, you know collect the foods or secure their household assets and um, the roads got damaged so which was the major challenge in evacuation and in the shelter center which is not prepared ahead of flood enough so uh, there is no separate space for male and female and there was also issue on safe water access and the latrin so this is some major challenges she had faced okay now let uh, let me go to the next question here acha selina pa jeta arekta jinish jante chaichhe seta holo je apnar jokhon 2020 saler age problem 2020 sale jokhon shupol intervention holo tokhon to apni voice message gulo peyechen tar pore kichu support peyechen thik ache tahole apni protomoto ki ki somoshya mokabela ki ki korechen thik ache eta ektu jodi bolen निर्धारण करब जेमन एलिक लोक जन आज चलाचल रास्ता भेगे गेखने बाशे सको देवाईटे सको देव मिनन पर 
প্রাধান্য থাকে না আর সবাই মিলে গেলে দলবদ্ধ ভাবে গেলে কথা বলার প্রাধান্য পাওয়া যায় দল গঠন করে Okay, so what she is saying, in 2020 monsoon, they uh, got the voice message which helped them to take uh, early actions uh, before the flood. And uh, when they got the message, uh, within community, they uh, prepared a small group. Like uh, Selena, after uh, Selena Begum uh, herself and uh, her some of the neighbors uh, included, and then they went to the union Parishad, uh, which is the uh, smallest union of the governance system in Bangladesh, and they tried to identify which shelter is uh, based uh, to you know evacuate, and what was the challenges uh, on those uh, shelter center. So they can, you know, address those situations. And with uh, this consultation, they ensured the separate um, latrine and wash facilities for male and female, and uh, also a separate corner for the lactating mothers. She also mentioned one thing about the challenge uh, on creating the community group, which is, you know, uh, most of the people was not interested first. But uh, they, uh, Selena Begum herself tried to make others understand that it is necessary for themselves. And by that, they were motivated and went along. Okay, Nessa, over to you if you have any further questions. Yes, thank you. I would like also to encourage the participants to, to interact with um, the colleagues. If you want, you can uh, raise your hand because we, um, yeah, we don't have uh, many questions right now. Um, you can raise your hand and post your question or uh, you can also post your question in the chat. But we have also um, one question here. Um, Selena, what does your family think about your involvement in the community group? So, yeah. সৃষ্টি হয়েছিল আপনি যে কমিউনিটি দলে জয়েন করেছেন এটার জন্য কি পরিবার থেকে কোনো বাধা ছিল আপনার পরিবার কি মনে হ্যাঁ ছিল প্রথমে যাইতে দেয়নি কথা বলতে দেয়নি কেন দেয় প্রথমে পরিবার তো যাইতে দেয়নি যে তুমি মেয়ে মানুষ হয়ে তুমি ওই কাজগুলো করবা ওখানে যাবা আমি বুঝলাম যে আমাদেরও সমস্যা যেরকম এলাকার সবারই সমস্যা ওই রকম আমরা যদি সবাই মিলে উদ্যোগ নিয়ে একটা কাজ করি তাহলে আমাদের সবারই উপকার হচ্ছে না নারীদের ক্ষমতা আদায় হচ্ছে না আমরা যদি সমস্যায় পড়ি তাহলে তো পুরুষের বাড়িতে থাকে না আমাদের এই সময় আসলে তুমি শীতের সিজন আসলে পুরুষের বাড়িতে বাড়িতে থাকে না চলে যায় অন্য জায়গায় কাজ করার জন্য তখন অনেক সমস্যা পড়া লাগে তাহলে কথা বলার অগ্রাধিকে থাকতে হবে না নিজের কাজ নিজে আদায় করে নিতে হবে এই জন্য Uh, so she is saying that um, at the beginning, there was challenge from uh, her family uh, because when she said that she is going to join the community group, uh, they were really, really reluctant uh, because their question was as a woman, what you are going to do or what changes you are going to make. So she made the family members understand that, you know, um, as in their community, majority of the male person is migrated for work in another district or another area. So female is left behind for taking the decisions of the household. So they have to be empowered and have, they have to participate in the community group so they can work with the community and get a solution mm -hmm. of uh, to manage the flood situation. Thank you. Over. Thank, yeah, thank you, Atika. Thank you, Selina. Uh, uh, following up that question, so uh, because probably it's also Amy could also uh, add on to that. Uh, how did you in, in this um, project activities also uh, provide secure space uh, for women? Uh, like how did you invite them and in what situation probably um, 
the daytime when the women are not having to take care of the uh, or, or fa finish with the household work and then can come to the planning meetings or also to, to involve uh, first the other family members or the how, uh, head of household before. How did you approach this? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sir Naisa, for uh, this question. So uh, what Selina was saying, like initially uh, it was not easy to uh, involve uh, the women member of the community um, in this um, project activity or the anticipatory action. So um, as uh, we, I was mentioning uh, earlier of um, my uh, speech that um, uh, in the area where we are working, uh, mostly the male members uh, remain outside of the family uh, during this uh, monsoon season. So uh, as uh, you know, during the monsoon season, uh, the productivity of that community is not um, good. So they uh, went outside of the home to uh, do some other work uh, and earn money for the family. So it is the women uh, who had to uh, take care of the family at that time and take the early actions um, to save their lives and that they could um, during the monsoon flood. So um, the women uh, in, in the first phase of the project, um, uh, we were uh, purposely selected uh, um, the women as the voice message recipient so that um, they uh, have a voice, they have a power. So uh, they were the uh, people who were uh, cascading these uh, early warnings uh, within their community. So uh, like Selena, we had uh, other volunteers and the boys that was recipient. So when uh, they were going to walk to home to disseminate this early warning, people were not, um, uh, try, I mean, trying to believe them. Uh, and as you have uh, heard that uh, you are the women, uh, you don't have power. And what do you know about this early warning and early action? So they were being neglected. So, but when the, uh, but uh, the women member of uh, the community, they were united. They went to the um, uh, union position, I mean, the uh, local government body to, um, uh, I mean, get the fund and take uh, initiative for um, implementing these early actions. And um, when the flood happened, uh, people had to believe them. And uh, they recorded the voice messages and uh, uh, disseminated this to other people of the, uh, other uh, uh, member of the community. So uh, when flood happened, uh, people have seen that, well, uh, what they have said is true. So if we have taken uh, initiative uh, according to uh, their uh, instruction, we could have uh, saved the life and livelihood. So when we have done the post monsoon assessment, we have found that uh, those who have received the early warning, 95% of them has taken the early action. And uh, those who have taken early action, 90% of uh, those uh, were able to save the life and livelihood. And uh, those who have uh, uh, received the cash uh, grant support from the uh, as a early action um, from the project, uh, they uh, were um, uh, able to uh, save their family from uh, taking loan afterward of flood uh, uh, to uh, survive. Uh, I mean, after the flood, and um, the loan burden has been. And uh, those who haven't uh, received the cash grants uh, were. Um, bound to take loan afterward, um, after the flood happened uh, to continue their uh, livelihood um, support uh, to buy their uh, essentials. So, um, and uh, of course, uh, when, uh, so uh, what we uh, did purposefully is selected the women leaders from the community uh, to uh, be the voice uh, of the project and um, as I, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, at the Disaster Management Com Committee, we purposely uh, selected, uh, I mean, appoint, I mean, uh, make uh, the women representation uh, to make their voice heard. Uh, but when that didn't uh, also, uh, were not uh, coming with a, uh, I mean, expected result, uh, we uh, conducted the CRA, I mean, the community risk assessment in a way, 
where we can have these um, specific groups who can identify their own needs and develop this um, reintroduction action plan according to their needs, which we later on uh, advocate to integrate in the uh, local government action plan. So this is how uh, we have uh, done the whole process. And also um, regarding the uh, gaze reader, I mean, uh, the gaze we have installed um, uh, at the uh, river to, uh, I mean, uh, measure the water level. Uh, we purposefully uh, selected some of the women's to be the gaze reader so that um, they can have the voice. Uh, and, and in the volunteer team, we have appointed the women purposefully so that uh, they can have the voice and leadership. So this is how we have uh, done uh, the work throughout our uh, work at the community. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Uh, I see also uh, one question from Tahsin Aziz, and then I see uh, Muhammad uh, Sharif can raise his hand. Uh, firstly, I will pose this question uh, to Selina uh, from Tahsin Aziz. Any specific locally led adaptation technique you or your community people adopted during flood situation? Uh, uh, Selina, my take to unmute for रास्तार এবং কয়েকজন এর বাসায় মিলে একটা করে টিবলের গোড়া উঁচু করে পাকা করে দিছি আচ্ছা ওকে সো শি ইজ সেইং ওকে আর কিছু আছে আর একটা অ্যাড করতে চাচ্ছি নৌকা আর ভেলা বানা হয়েছে নৌকা আর ভেলা ওকে সো শি ইজ সেইং উইথ দি উইথ দা কমিউনিটি মেম্বারস অফ व्हाट অ্যাপ্রোচ দে টুক ইজ দে রিপেয়ারড আ স্মল রোড uh which needed a small repairment so uh ensure the connectivity and another uh action they took is uh you know raised the uh ground of some uh house and the two balls uh they raised one of the two balls to ensure the safe water and another was they made uh what we say is the bamboo uh sorry banana raft which is a temporary transportation during the flood and they also um, ensured uh, some boats for the evacuation thank you yes so uh, from muhammad uh, sharif khan this uh, would be last question for a participant go ahead uh, th thank you thank you so uh, my name is muhammad sharif khan i'm working with the ifrc bangladesh delegation a very interesting discussion are going now i am just learning from your discussion and just uh, one to, uh, uh, clarify one question not question just for clarification for me so uh, we are uh, taking uh, uh, women in a decision making in this in, in uh, by this uh, uh, project i mean super project so how uh, just i am uh, my question is to amy apa just for clarification not question So how incorporate uh, uh, how you will incorpor incorporate the others vulnerable group like person with disability uh, and others uh, child child family how you can uh, incorporate this group and and uh, this uh, uh, this is a this is a project so after sometimes this project will close so what uh, will be the, your exit plan after you uh, uh, exit uh, the community will how uh, they will ensure this type of activity in the community in the future flood so thank you over to you uh, should i go yeah uh, thank you uh, sharif i for uh, your nice question so uh, sharif you were uh, you want to know the inclusion uh, in uh, different activities or how they would uh, take action which one uh, do you want to know I, I i just i'm asking uh, how you incorporated others vulnerable group okay okay uh, yeah, in your project area yeah. uh, and yeah thank you 
thank you uh, sharif bhai so um, what we do uh, what we did is um, as i was mentioning earlier uh, we tried to uh, make the disaster management committee inclusive first of all uh, which would be uh, sustainable uh, which will ensure sustainability uh, even um, uh, sustainability of the representation even after our project so uh, as you know the udmc is a government um, uh, kind of government uh, structure so it will be there even if we are not there uh, as a project people so uh, the representation will be there and uh, the way we uh, try to uh, build the capacity of the udmcs uh, vdmcs um, and the dmcs uh, i guess uh, this uh, capacity building initiative we would not be able to take away with us so it will be with them so this will also ensure the sustainability of the project and in addition to that uh, to uh, include the other uh, vulnerable groups of the community uh, as i was mentioning in the cra process which is community risk assessment process we have done this analysis with different uh, group of people with a special need so there were group of women so that, as, as well as there were group of people with disabilities which i was mentioning earlier so they have identified their needs by themselves and the rrp in the rrp their special needs have been included already and these um, actions has been integrated in the union Parishad, the local level action plan as i have mentioned earlier as well so this is uh, this has already been an integral part of the government planning system, which um, uh, would continue even uh, after our project. And uh, lastly, what we are trying to do uh, through our national level advocacy, uh, we are trying to uh, integrate the uh, SSNPs and the humanitarian assistance program. Uh, to be integral part of uh, the uh, anticipatory action so that uh, this disability allows, widow allows, maternity allows, and all, uh, uh, all other, um, I mean, uh, social protection schemes are, uh, would be there as a financing mechanism to handle these um, anticipatory actions. I mean, based on the warning, um, or the based on uh, the water level, uh, danger level, uh, or the early action matrix, uh, we would be able to implement this. I mean, government would be uh, able to implement these um, uh, social protection programs uh, just before the flood as an anticipatory action. So this is how we are trying to include um, other uh, uh, people of the community who are um, in, with different needs and uh, this is how we are uh, ensuring sustainability of our work. Thank you. Thank Excellent, you. Excellent, Yes. So much, yes, um, I'm sure um, we can we can still, um, I don't know, team in the anticipation hub, there's uh, still possibility to get uh, in connection with each other. So uh, yes, I think we are already a little bit ahead of time. I just would like to post one, Final question to Selina. Do you feel equipped for the, any possible future flood event? Or do you think there's still something that needs to be done? Okay, thanks for your question, Asda. Uh, Selina, uh, পরে যদি ফ্লাট বন্যা হয় ধরেন 2021 এ 2022 তো এখন যাচ্ছে 2023 এ ধরেন বড় একটু যদি উত্তর দেন যে আপনার হচ্ছে কি মনে হয় যে আপনি যথেষ্ট পরিমাণে প্রস্তুত আছেন অথবা আপনি 2020 এর আগের চেয়ে এখন একটু ভালো ব্যবস্থা নিতে পারবেন জি আপনি এখন আমরা মোবাইল মেসেজ পাইছি মোবাইল তথ্য পাইছি এগুলো প্রোগ্রাম নিতে হচ্ছে না এখন আর আমাদের কি করতে Nizabu, no, that's for our 
আলোচনা করে সিদ্ধান্ত নিচ্ছি এবং আগাম যেটা হবে আমাদের যদি সুকল প্রজেক্ট না থাকে তাহলে আমাদের ওই কাজগুলো আমাদের করতে হবে না সেগুলো নিয়ে প্রস্তুতি থাকতে হবে না তাহলে আমরা কিভাবে করব আমরা নিজে করব এবং এলাকা কমিটি নিয়ে সে বিষয়ে আলোচনা করে সে কাজগুলো আমরা নিজেরাই উদ্যোগ নিয়ে করব এবং as you know uh, they had some experience of taking early action in 2020 2020 monsoon and then 2021 and some in 2022 so uh, with the uh, forecast and the advisory messages they already know that when they have uh, they can experience the flood and the possible actions they can take so with the advisories they can take the actions by themselves and you know within uh, these three years of their experience they can somehow know that with the community group and by consultating with their neighbors they can seek help from the union parishad as well so you know uh, they are more prepared than uh, uh, the earlier 2020 monsoon and they can take actions um, uh, you know their own level with their own resources Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you, uh, Selina, for your answers and also for sharing with us your experience. Thank you, Atika, for supporting us. Uh, also with the translation, excellent um, summary of all the content that we are discussing and also Amy and Catherine also for sharing with us more insights uh, and lessons learned from the project. So uh, yes, I would like to close the session now. I don't know whether team still have any announcement to make. Hi everyone. No, thank you very much for such a rich discussion. It's been really fascinating to listen in. And yeah, thank you particularly to Selena and Atika for that translation. It's not easy, but it was great. It worked really well. So yeah, thank you um, from our side. So yes, thank you very much uh, everybody for joining us and I hope you're still uh, be involving and discussing about this topic and uh, also uh, we will learn and develop together. Yes, thank you. So have a nice day, have a nice week for all of you. Bye bye. <laughs>